You're listening to Two Girls, One Mic. Get smart about your money with the Shift Control Session brought to you by moneysmart.co.za. Shift Financial Control, back to you. And that's your Shift Control cue. (laughs) (laughs) So yes, you're here with Two Girls, One Mic and we have Sebastian Mm -hmm. in studio with us. Hello. Hi, guys. How you doing? Good, good, and you? We're good. We're great. Having a good Friday. Uh-huh. So uh. Sebastian is from powertime.co.za. <laughs> Did you see that? Powertime.co.za. <laughs> so say, so say. Yes. Yeah. We already pre-announced that he is a good looking French man and he did not disappoint. <laughs> <laughs> High fives all right. Yes. So Carmony actually uses powertime.co.za. Because I hate running out of electricity and having to then in my PJs go down to the BP or whatever and go and buy electricity. So I've actually been using the site and then I was so chuffed when they've now got the app as well. So you load your meter number and your card numbers, and you can do multiple numbers and cards, and you just click and click, and you have electricity. Oh, so you use it to automatically upload electricity. Is that what power time's for? Why doesn't Sebastian? <laughs> <laughs> you buy it remotely. So mm-hmm. you, ha- you have your little voucher code, and then you take it to your little box in your house, and you put in the code. That's, that's about it. Um, I think what we'd bring is convenience, the convenience of buying from your phone mm-hmm. uh, any time of the day from anywhere. Um, and as well, some analytics. We try to help our users save electricity, so we mm-hmm. provide them feedback on how much they're using, uh, you know, every month. And as well as uh, we send them alerts when they're about to run out of electricity. Oh, so that's nice. Mm-hmm. That's yeah. very helpful. So they've got a range of features that um, I think allow our users to control and manage their electricity <laughs> budget. One of the features is you can SMS or email the voucher number to whomever. So my friends, I was showing them this app, and they were like, well, what if we put our bank details mm-hmm. and our voucher number, and you can just SMS us the, yeah. the details. So it's like parents when they top up your airtime, they can <laughs> top up my electricity. But that's right. We, we also offer airtime, actually. Oh, really? Yeah. And you can actually send your vouchers to your parents or Your whatever. friends. Your lazy friends. I need a bath. Please send me power. <laughs> No, that's, I think that's um, another point is it's, uh, we pretty much present everywhere nationally. So therefore, your, for example, a mum can you know, provide electricity to his sons and his daughters in different cities. Mm-hmm. So that's, uh, that's another part of the convenience. We're not only Cape Town based, we're everywhere. Nice. And you say that it does um, like analysis of what power you're using. And so if you leave your geezer on too often, you'll say, well, your geezer is actually using way more than it should or that kind of thing, or what appliances do you find people are wasting electricity on? Okay, well, first of all, we give you, um, we only get the data from the meter, from your main meter, mm-hmm. so we'll be able to tell you that, you know, your entire household has been increasing its, its electricity usage, mm-hmm. um, but we obviously don't have a, a view on, you know, which appliances it's using. But um, on our website, we also provide, um, you know, products and services to allow you to identify which of those appliances are using more electricity. Okay. Uh, we've got an energy monitor that uh, measures real-time your consumption at home. Mm-hmm. And um, very quickly, if you install it, you can see when the geyser kicks in, you can see your the power usage increasing go up. Yeah, ah. significantly. Well, we're going to talk to you, I think, after the break about ways to save power and electricity and everything. Um, and we've got a song about power, which I'm quite excited to play for everyone. Because <laughs> I was searching for po- songs about power. We already played Kanye West Power. And she used to live in Asia. So. And I used to live in Korea. And I found a song by a Korean group called BAP, B-A-P, <laughs> and it's called Power. That was special. <laughs> <laughs> How fun was that? So yes, you're in the Money Smart Shift Control session with Two Girls, One Mic. Yes, and we're talking about saving electricity. So yes. what kind of appliances should we be looking out for to you know, not leave on or not leave unattended so that we can actually save some dosh? Okay, sure. So we, we talked earlier about um, the geyser in mm-hmm. South Africa. The geyser is uh, quite a significant appliance um, in terms of usage. Um, so there's little things that you can do with your geyser. The first one is to use a blanket mm-hmm. around your geyser. Um, you know, they're not too expensive and it's quite effective. Mm-hmm. Uh, the use of timers, if you can, um, you know, have timers to set it on and off automatically. Um, as well as the temperature of your geyser. Try to maintain it. It's, you know, 55 degrees what's recommended. So that's for the geyser. 
Obviously for your geyser, you can also look at uh, putting some solar water heating system. Mm-hmm. So about the geyser, some people, you're saying 55 degrees is what's recommended. Cause some people turn their geysers really, really high so that they use less hot water. Um, you know you know what I mean? So the temperature is hotter, so you don't need to turn on as much hot water. So would you recommend a lower um, temperature so that you yeah. use more water Rather, you know, you, you know what I'm saying. Some people turn it higher, but then are you saving water or electricity? Yes, because that's, kind of that's what I'm, what I'm not there. sure how that works. Do you have? Do you have well, you noticed that? Well, it, it's you know, it's it's very difficult to cater for all the situations. Mm. Like size of geese is a bit different, but I'd say you know, 55 degrees would be the you know the common denominator. Like mm-hmm. It would be the temperature you want it at. So yeah, because some households have just that scalding heaters, and you, you know, when you turn on the hot water, you. Jump back out again, <laughs> screaming. <laughs> so no, so not too hot is the basic, because yeah. otherwise it's just heating it up unnecessarily, I guess. Exactly. Wasting electricity. How do geysers actually work? Do they keep the, the water temperature at a specific? So obviously they keep the water at a specific temperature. So there's a thermometer thing. So, so when it's like it a ke- kettle okay. that keeps boiling to keep it essentially. Exactly. Okay. But if so, as you start using it, you know the the level of the water in the tank will drop. And then and there'll the be cold water coming in, okay. and then you try to raise this temperature back up again. Uh, okay. So that's uh, that is for the geysers, mm-hmm. and then um, and then they're saying the the next big appliance is uh, it would be your heaters if you use heater or air conditioning. Mm-hmm. So you try to limit that. Then the next would be the lighting. Yes. Try mm-hmm. to you know switch to more efficient lights. So those those um, which are, which would be the more efficient lights? The LEDs. The LEDs. The They're a bit expensive, but they um, last really long yeah. apparently. And they, you know they use about ten percent of the, oh, the really? power mm-hmm. of the other ones. So that's for the lighting. What about things like TVs and radios and stuff? Well, they they. You know, you're trying to switch them off, you can, but they, they don't use that much. So it will make a difference, but it won't be such a huge difference. Okay. I think where you're trying to, what you start to look at is maybe your, you know, your washing machine, try to run full load, your tumble dryer, mm-hmm. try to not use it if you can. Mm-hmm. Uh, but those are, you know, quite uh, power intensive units. Uh, yeah, and then, um, you know, in terms of your house, uh, trying to use curtains. Um, yes. Mm-hmm. You know, that, that help insulating the house. Mm-hmm. Um, and keeps the neighbors away. <laughs> <laughs> it usually works. So well, we also said um, get a boyfriend slash girlfriend or a big dog yes. that could, you know, decrease your... <laughs> Keep you cozy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe also, um, you know, if you've got a, an electric stove, try to use... If you have a microwave as well, the microwave is more efficient. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, try to, try to use it as much as you can. We discussed this before, and Carmony is the, the food connoisseur, you see, and she, she sort of cringed at the <laughs> health value of the microwave versus... It's the whole concept of how the microwave works, and it's actually like basic low radiation that's yeah. going into your food. So that, that's my <laughs> issue with it. <laughs> what about a, a gas cooker? That would be awesome. <laughs> so, for example, Sebastian, <laughs> I use um, a microwave to heat up my hot water bottle. You know you get those bean hot water bottles. Would you say off the top of your head that boiling water to fill up a hot water bottle or using a microwave to, you know, warm it for four minutes? Which one would be uh, a microwave? So, it's a, so I'm being green already. <laughs> Check me out. The only problem with those things is that they smell They like do beans. smell. They do. And then I mean. they kind of sweat on your neck or your foot or whatever. <laughs> 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 well, so do real hot water bottles. <laughs> That's what happens when hot things go on skin. <laughs> but you have yes, to go okay. to a basic lesson <laughs> with it. So you've written, you've written some columns also for Money Smart, who are obviously yeah. the shift control testers for. So people can read more tips about you know ways to save power. Is that what your columns based on? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'll tweet those links now because there's one infographic as well yeah. on uh, MoneySmart.co.za. Yeah, obviously. Know. Mm-hmm. We, we also try to explain the, the structure of the tariff because people people sometimes are a bit confused on how much power costs and oh, yes. what a unit. How long would that is. take? Is there a, su- a simple summary you can give the listeners? Well, in terms of the tariffs, yes, which is the tariffs are a bit complicated. Is it a bit complicated? Yeah, no. The simple thing is um, basically the less you use, the less you pay. Oh, so they sort of tax you for excessive use. Exactly. All right. Because you know the situation in South Africa is such that you don't have enough power. Mm-hmm. 
and uh, electricity is expensive now. Exactly. So they're, they're really trying to push. Yeah, well, I was in the airport yesterday in the 45M or M45 movement where they're saying every little bit counts, ah. you know, just help. And that's like this huge, big campaign I think the government's pushing. So exactly, yeah. every little bit does count. And we're all like, yeah, yeah, yeah. But <laughs> so you say they tax you more for using more. So there's incentive if you really? didn't have any green piece about you. Be a miser. <laughs> Get money smart. <laughs> <laughs> so people can go on to moneysmart.co.za or to powertime.co.za where they can... Get the app. It'll change your life. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, Comedy is already a big fan. <laughs> no, the, the, the app is really, uh, I think, um, one of the key features. It's, it's really simple. It's quick. It's convenient. Um, it's nicely done. There's an app for the iPhone, the BlackBerry, the Android, mm -hmm. and the Nokia. So we've catered for pretty much all phones. Got mm -hmm. Pretty side. much all the same that we have. Uh, well, Two Oceans Vibe Radio is going to yes. be for all of those <laughs> devices. That's what you're listening on, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah, Great. Awesome. Well, thanks for being in studio with us, Sebastian. And our, some of our listeners are asking if we could tweet a photo of you. <laughs> <laughs> so we're going to have to make that happen before you walk out of here. And uh, yeah, and so we'll play out. And we've got Eminem lighters uh, featuring Bruno Mars mm -hmm. because we can use lighters to save <laughs> electricity if we put it on a candle. Okay, so thanks very much. Yeah. Thanks a lot, guys. Cheers. Later. Join us every Friday between 1 and 3 p.m. for the Money Smart Shift Control Session. Budget, save, and invest with moneysmart.co.za, the free online personal finance platform that helps you stay organized with all your money in one place. Shift financial control back to you.